What is up guys? Today we are gonna review the Suzuki DRZ400 and I'm gonna give you three reasons why I think it is the best bang for your buck, best machine you can buy today in the Enduro Dual Sport category. So without further ado. So the DRZ has been around since 2001. It is now 2021 and what have they changed? Pretty much nothing. It was such a perfect platform right from the get-go. So reliable, so powerful for what it was that Suzuki just ran with it. And they have consistently rolled out a great product every single year and they have not changed anything. So that brings us to the first category, the first reason why I think it is the best bike you can buy in the dual sport enduro category is that this thing is so reliable. The thing is bulletproof. It will outlive you and I, I promise you. If you're riding trails and you're far away from any city, any establishment, you can't afford to break down because you'd really be screwed then, get a DRZ. It's not gonna let you down. It is the perfect platform for just back trails, backwoods adventuring, and it really is just bulletproof. I mean, I've had mine, I've done spark plug, oil changes, tighten the chain, and that's really it. I mean, the thing just runs, it starts every time, it's never had a hiccup, and everybody I've known who has owned these bikes has the exact same thing to say about them. So reliability, if you're trying to be on the trail, on the road, not wrenching on your bike, not have it in the shop, get a DRZ, come on. Spend your pennies wisely. Second reason I think that the DRZ is the best bike you can buy in the dual sport enduro category is the performance right out of the get-go. The torque and mid-range is just so good the torque down low is just, it punches. This thing absolutely rips, you know? And if you're in tight trails, tight woods, that low end torque, that mid range grunt is just gonna get you over, around, and through the things that you need to get through. You know, I've had a few different 250s, uh, I've ridden some 650s, and they're fine. Anything with a, you know, an engine and two wheels is gonna be fun. But the 250s, say the CRF 250L and the KLX 250, they're street bike motors in a dirt bike platform. So what that means is that all your power, all your torque, all that jazz that you see on paper, it's only gonna be in the high RPMs. You're gonna have to wind that thing up, have some space, have some time, before you get to any of it, you know? And in an off-road setting, that is just the last thing that you want. You want that low-end torque. Right when you crash the throttle, you want the power to be there. And it is on this thing. If you do go the 250 route, you're gonna have to mod that thing so much between an electronic fuel controller, uh, modify your air box, or put some sort of a high-performance air filter in it, get a full exhaust system before you even slightly make that thing feel somewhat alive. Right from the get-go, this has all of it. The torque, the mid-range, the high end. It's just, it is a complete package right from the get-go. Get one, you'll know what I mean. I've even ridden a few different 650s and it just depends what you want to do. If you're going to be on the highway going 75, you're trying to go across the country, Sure, get yourself a 650. It's gonna have a little bit taller gearing, you know, a little more weight that'll keep you a little bit more planted on the highway. But if you're riding off-road even more than a little bit, the 650 is not gonna be what you want. It's just too heavy. It's not as agile. It's not as maneuverable. You just want something a little bit smaller. And this DRZ400 is pretty much the exact same weight as all of the 250s out there, but it is 10 times more capable. So 
Along with the power, the suspension on this bike, right from the factory, it's show a suspension and it is absolutely perfect. There's so much adjustability, whether it's damping or preload, that you can dial this thing in to your weight, the riding that you wanna do. You can make it as soft uh, as you want. It's almost like you were sitting on a lazy boy. Sitting on a lazy boy. As you're going through the trails. Or you could stiffen this thing up and it will really feel like a full-fledged MX bike. So, tons of adjustment there. It just really is nice. Uh, some of the 250s I've had, you know, I had to rebuild the whole front suspension, put in race tech, whatever it may be, uh, mess with the rear, uh, because they don't have that much adjustment from the factory, whereas this thing just does. So, and suspension is huge on bikes. You might just think that raw power is all you need, but good suspension is going to get you up, over, through, and around more things than you think it will. So, it can also help the bike feel lighter than it actually is. So suspension, perfect. Five stars, would recommend. The third category slash reason that I think the DRZ400 is the best dual sport bike you can buy for the money is because the aftermarket support and parts are so cheap. Say you laid it over, you need a new lever, you need new plastics, you need a new turn signal, whatever it may be, those parts are so available and so cheap with them not changing this platform for 20 years, it's almost ridiculous. If you get a new Hushvarna, Hushvarna, Husqvarna, or a KTM, some of these other European bikes, uh, the parts are just tough to find. And when you do find them, they cost so much, it might make you think twice about purchasing them right off the bat. So then you're stuck riding a bike that's broken because you can't afford the parts for it to fix it, to get it back in running order. Don't go down that road. Get a DRZ400. Do yourself a favor. Come on now. Even aside from that, say you want aftermarket parts, you want to customize your bike, you want to make it your own, like everybody does. Get yourself a rear rack. Get yourself that slip-on exhaust. Let's throw some bars on it. Let's get grips, maybe some different levers. Why not get a tail tidy? That looks nice. Graphics kit. It all is just pennies on the dollar. It costs nothing. You can customize this thing, swap out all these different parts on it, and you might spend a couple hundred dollars max. Whereas for the European bikes, probably a couple hundred dollars for every single part you switch out. Just another reason. Get the DRZ, folks. Your mama raised you better than that. Now the one thing I will say about the European bikes is the performance the performance is exceptional, okay? They've got the punch, they've got the power. Right out of the gate, right out of the package. So you might say, well, I want that performance. I want that power. I'm just gonna go buy that KTM. I'm gonna get this European bike and I'm gonna love it. It's gonna be awesome. Well, with that power comes sacrificed reliability. The European bikes are not as reliable as Japanese bikes. Those are facts. It's on provenfacts.com. Go look it up. Japanese have just done it better and they've done it better for a long time. New bikes are getting better with technology, you know, trial and error type things, but you're not gonna get near as a reliable bike if you go the European route. It is cool, it is fast, something pretty. It's gonna get you looks. It's gonna get you looks, but it's only gonna get you those looks when it's on the road. And it's not gonna be on the road too much because you're probably gonna be wrenching on this, maintenancing that. It's gonna be in the shop. It's just gonna be a nightmare, a pain in your butt. So don't go that route. Unless you won the lottery, say you're a millionaire, go that route. Get like 10 of them. So the DRZ, I do think it's the perfect platform. It's reliable, it's powerful, the aftermarket support is there, everything is simple. This thing is just gonna run perfect. Like I said, it will outlive us. So if you're looking at multiple dual sports, this is the one to get. It will satisfy the novice riders and the expert riders. The power 
is not enough that it will scare a beginning rider, but it's gonna have all the punch to satisfy you when you are that better rider. You're not gonna need to get a different bike. The DRZ will be enough still. I've had 44 different bikes, everything from the Rockets, the Scooters, the Cruisers, the Choppers, the MX bikes, the Dual Sports, and I can definitely tell you this is my favorite bike out of all of them. It's my favorite platform. Say you want to be a hooligan and you think you need a sport bike, uh, this thing will out wheelie any sport bike. I promise you. And it's going to be safer because you're going to do those wheelies at 50 miles per hour, not 150. So those are my thoughts on the DRZ. Those are a lot of people's thoughts on the DRZ. You know, we're not selling you. Suzuki pays me zero dollars to do this. I just want everybody out there to have a reliable, nice machine that they enjoy so that they can be out on the road riding with me. So, do the right thing, kids. Get a DRZ. You're not gonna regret it.